in the whole department. There are plenty of young blokes, aren't there? Another good night's sleep, gone up in smoke. Frank. Don't stay out too late, dear. No, darling. Some Ruben Strat? Yeah, Bosma thinks so. Ooh. Bastards. This is Mrs. Maris. Mrs. Maris, would you mind if I ask you a few questions? No, you may not. Don't you understand what this meant to her? Of course you may. I feel better, Rob. They were extremely efficient. <laughs> You've got no enemy. Not as much as I know of. Why should this happen to us? We had a very nice evening. It was very pleasant. It was our weekly bridge evening with the Vegases. And they must have known that Thursday was our regular bridge night. What? Oh, the pictures. They're here too. Ah! Who are you? What do 
what you want. I demand you tell me who you are! Give them the money, Bob. What money? I demand that you... I'll give you all the money in the house. Not bad. No. Please. You won't get away with it. I'll give you one more chance. I'll give you all the money I've got in the house if you leave immediately. Give you half an hour's head start. Or I call the police. Open your legs. Open your legs! do anything, they would have murdered me. Were they armed? Or guns, knives? Of course they were. Bob, do something. Yes. Do something, Bob. Hey, Bob. Hey. Your wife wants you to do something. You like watching Bob, don't you? Hmm? Maybe Bobby's one of those, hey, Bobby? <laughs> I'll give you all the money. Money? Is that all you ever think about, Bobby? Hey? Hey? Do you ever think about defending your wife's sweet, dripping little honey pot? Hey, Bobby? about you? No. Oh. See yourself? The cats won't like it. Shut up! The cats won't like it. Any other detail? Their voice. They seemed well-bred. University boss. <laughs> well-bred, she said. It's possible. Bastards are getting on my nerves. There's a definite pattern to their behavior. It's not only the money they're after. On the contrary, I'd say. Can't possibly be a political thing. More burglaries, more senseless wrecks. Now the violence are this woman. I can't help thinking they're not from Amsterdam. They're not our kind of scum. Better start in the suburbs. 
That'll take you at least a month. Osman. Are you sure you can do without me for a month? Well, after one night, these bastards are getting on my nerves. Yes, well bred. That's a fact. Six of them. Fine mammoth. Where did they get off? Blumenthal. You're quite sure. Inspector, this isn't the first time I've worked with you people. The F case, you remember? The Widow F. <laughs> and that was also on one of my trains. Did they have round trip tickets? Yes, from Blumenthal. Can you describe any of them? That's not my strong point. What a ticket collector ought to have is one of those little Japanese cameras. <laughs> and you've got them. But then anyway, how do you know they committed a crime or if they're going to? What did they do with the six of them? Rape. All six? Five. Bye. 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 See you soon. Maybe. Monsieur Jamais. Monsieur Jamais. Not bad. She's a good friend of mine. A regular customer here. Come back tomorrow night. You'll meet her again. I see. Where? Where the oil can. I do. Try? I've been practicing. What with a cap gun? No, my Uncle Max has a Magnum 44. If you had dropped it, I would have knocked your teeth out one by one. Watch. Now knock my teeth out. One by one. When you think I'm ready to be initiated, let me know. Keep out of step. Who don't want to get his ribs broken as well, take care of his comfort. Keep out of step. All right, carry on. That's the idea. Keep 
because we are doomed to emptiness if we do not come together to explore this world of immense opportunities with each other. Communication is not an empty word. We are what we eat. When we eat polluted, poisoned food, our minds and therefore our actions become polluted. Our judgment becomes poor. No, Without you. our judgment, like we become slaves. Uh, yes, yes, it's, I'm, I'm just not very hungry. We will eat to live. To live means to be in harmony with the laws of nature. <laughs> Hey, you still remember me? Of course. I haven't slept a wink since that night. I bet. Bonbon? No, miss. I must do charge. For the night, I mean. 250 guilt. Haven't got that on me. Salt enough. If you never put too much, you can always add. Well, it's very good as it is. Salesman. I'm a police inspector. Oh. Vice squad. Yes. That's my department. What would you say to five or six boys, about 20 years old? who break into a home for the fun of it, turn the place into a shambles. And if the people who live there happen to come home unexpectedly, they rape the woman one after the other for the fun of it. A woman old enough to be their mother. It happens. And they come from Bloomingdown. I think so. Kids here have money. Who are those kids? Isn't that your job to find out? Yes. You're right. You're my first policeman.
Inspector Vanderbilt? Yes. Chief of Police Marcuses wants to see you immediately. Now? If you don't mind, sir. You had orders to report to me as soon as you arrived in Blumendahl. You didn't do so. Why? This isn't an official investigation. I didn't want your precinct involved in it yet. I'm sure you have plenty to do, as it is. Let me be the judge of that. No doubt you had your own excellent reasons for visiting that prostitute. No doubt. Hmm. That's nice. Italian? Yes, Martinelli. So, the Amsterdam Juvenile Vice Squad has decided that an organized gang of burglars is flourishing in Blumenthal. Yes. If there were, I'd have known about it. Peppermint? No, thanks. I smoke. Mm. Let me have it. Thank you, sir. Of course I will cooperate with you, as my friend Boersma has requested. But I do demand one thing, and that is tact. You don't know the kind of people that live here. I know the type. They break into houses. They destroy. They rape. I want those kids. Well, if they are in Blumenthal, of course I shall cooperate with you. But in view of the fact that they may very well not be here, all I ask is discretion. You'll get it. But then don't have me picked up in the street anymore. That is not only indiscreet, it's irritating. We'll be watching a cabana, sir. Or perhaps a parasol. No, oh, just looking around. Where's Mr. Jensen? Oh, this kind of weather, you'll most likely find him indoors. At the discotheque? Well, there's a jukebox. Really, it's a kind of ice cream parlor. A what? Ice cream parlor. You know what I mean? Just for the youngsters. I'd love to see it. That's fine. I like ice cream. <laughs> marks do you need to be a raven? Ten out of ten. <laughs> That's a lot. Hey, the ravens toss a beer can in the air and faint. Yeah. Hey, come on. There's nobody at the car crash. It's funny. He always welcomes a new guest. It's a habit of his. What would you like? You sell liquor? Well, not to the kids, of course. But he's not a minor. Sometime. Large Gabriel. Now that I know my way, I'll make a point of it. Good. Do that. Bye. Bye. Hey, 
Hey, son. Yeah? Weren't you talking about the rape? Uh-huh. You know them? Of course. Michel Carnavale, 18 years old, son of a successful architect who designed most of the new residential areas of Blumenau, receives an extremely generous allowance. Eric Mieler, 20, son of a multi-millionaire plastic manufacturer. Mother died two years ago. Wagenfeld Staff, engineer. Manages a big construction firm. Rich again. Son, Bert. 18 years old. Wim Brinkman. 19, son of the export manager of the plastic factory. The poorest of the crowd. But still better off than the son of a police inspector. European director of an American publishing company. Not rich, but comfortable. Lots of pull. <laughs> Case Van Sonnevelt. 19, son of the director of an advertising agency. The new recruit. something strange about them. I can't put my finger on it, but there's something out of kilter. Where do they take their girls? To make love. They still make love, don't they? The younger generation? In the dunes, mostly. No. They never take their girls in the dunes. Never take them anywhere. The place is empty.
It's not my cousin Michael. to the guild. Fantastic. <laughs> but father said I had to wait until my birthday. Oh, he was in a good mood. Something about a premium or a bonus. I didn't really pay attention. Look, shall I wake him up to thank him? Oh, God, no. He waited for you for a while. But the white horse gold label got the better of him. <laughs> What do you estimate is the cost of the damage? Last year at Sotheby's, Reynolds sold for 110,000. Not to kill so, British pounds. Bad rank for the insurance company. This may surprise you. The loss of my, my Reynolds and the damage is irreparable. It doesn't matter to me because of this senseless thing that Robbie has done. And why? Why does he hate me like this? I always gave him love, affection. Like a father. Oh, I'm sorry. I wish to register an official complaint against Robbie for Kirk. And I don't care what gets into the papers. Don't you think you'd better wait until we've made a fuller investigation? No, I don't. See, it might get painful. If I do, I've made up my mind. Don't forget your bag.
Well, just a moment, John. Well, what's the meaning of this? I want to talk to you. Couldn't it wait half an hour? No, it couldn't. Well, wait for me at the clubhouse terrace. Why? I rather enjoy watching you play. You have a very subtle back. Come on, Louis. Stop chatting. Let's get on with the game. All right. I hope you know what you are doing. If they're innocent, there's no harm done. It's ridiculous. That's the harm that would be done. Hello. Hello. Hello, Petra. Ursma has requested you to cooperate with me. I am cooperating with you. Aren't I? Do you expect me to applaud when you're making a laughing stock of the entire police force? I'll inform all parties concerned that you'll go to their homes to question them. That's all I can do. And that's all I ask. Then get dressed. I don't want to see him. But your mother promised the chief of police, my good. She shouldn't make promises unless she knows that it's all right with me. But if you didn't do anything, there's no reason to be frightened. I'm not frightened. I just don't want to be questioned. We're not living in a police state, not yet. You can tell that to the police inspector. I won't be telling him anything. I won't be home today. A number of burglaries have been committed. Willful damage to private property is estimated at many thousands of guilders. They were done by local boys of your son's age. Friends of Frank's? Quite possible. But Frank's not a suspect. Not officially. Not yet. Frank, this is a police inspector from Amsterdam. He wants to ask you a few questions. On Sunday? Yes, on Sunday. On Sunday afternoon, we always lunch at half past one. Will you be needing more than ten minutes for your question? It's my Gigo Daniel, you understand. Five minutes at the most, madam. Oh, how nice of you. Goodbye. Goodbye. <clears throat> Do I need to answer? If you want to. But I don't think the inspector's legal position is very strong. Well, it's strong enough. Take Frank into custody right now. Have him taken to Amsterdam. In an armored van, if I want. So a little cooperation, it won't take a minute. Whose idea was it to rape the woman? I don't know what you're talking about. Every single one of you, fuck that woman! Who's the first? Watch your language, Inspector. You're in my home. I refuse to answer your vulgar insinuation. All right. Let's leave it at that for the time being. Take a good look at Frank. And while you're saving your gigot d'agneau, remember he raped a woman. Your wife's age. Scotch, okay? Fine. Well, what's Eric been up to? I was hoping he'd tell me. Marcus has mentioned something about a gang. What do they do, chase girls? Yes, <laughs> you could call it that, chasing girls, among other things. Well, we've all done the same sort of thing. I mean, smashing milk bottles, pinching girls in the street. Yes, certainly. But not organized burglaries. Not the cold-blooded rape of a 40-year-old woman by five boys. And Eric was one of them. Come down, kid. This is Inspector Van der Wallen. Hello. Hello, Eric. Tell us about the cats, Eric. Cats? And one of you said very clearly, the cats won't like it. What cats? It was in an apartment on the Schuberstraat in Amsterdam. It was Thursday, 28th of July. It was heard very clearly by the woman you raped. I don't know anything about it. Well, there's no sense in covering up for the others. I know all about them. Oh. 
Father, I don't know anything about it. Then why are you sweating? scared stiff. Leave it to me. I'll get to the bottom of this. One of the six of you is bound to break sometime. A boy like uh, Case Van Sonnebel, for example. Case? Oh, I hardly know him. Case just joined the race. Did you let him come with you last week? To the antique dealers? I wish I knew what you were talking about. Sounds kind of vague to me, too, Inspector. The cats won't like it. What do you know about the cats? More than you think. And that's another thing the cats won't like. What kind of story did Case tell you? Who are the cats? What are they? Inspector, I won't stand for this kind of intimidation. OK. I hope you'll be as helpful in court. He's going to need you. No. Why not? I don't feel like it. What's wrong with you? I don't want you. That's it. You can't afford to have me as an enemy. I know. I make things very difficult for you. I know. But still, that's the way I want it. It must have been Keyes von Sonnefeld. Cop said so very clearly. Cats won't like it. Why couldn't he keep his mouth shut? We just shouldn't have let him join in the first place. He's the only one that wasn't questioned by that detective. Ah, youth. Yeah, youth. I'll be 72 next week. And never once complain. I still have all my teeth. Ah, come to try our restaurant on the house street. Or is this an official visit? Well, I have. Want to talk a bit of business? idea. I know what your business is. I noticed some of the boys were in a bit of a stew. They've been questioned about something or other by the police. Yourself, perhaps? Yes, myself. Please sit down. Thank you. Did they tell you what it was about? No. Kids have their secrets. But they take you into their confidence. Sometimes. Are you surprised to hear about the police investigation? I'd be very surprised to hear it was something serious. Is he? I have my own ideas about that. Oh. Would you beg your pardon? There's one thing I'm very curious about. Maybe you could help me. Gladly. What's that? The cats. Cats? But you know who they are. There are a great number of girls here in the club. Cats are, I think, a sort of elite amongst them. Like the ravens, in fact. Kids have their names. Yes, so they do. These cats, do they sleep with the ravens? <laughs> How on earth do you expect me to know that? Well, you're not suggesting that I let them use. Spectre. I am not running a broth. Do 
they smoke a lot? Certainly no more than in Amsterdam. Any other drugs? Inspector. I think you're going to find things very square and dull here in Blumendahl. So they want to do that, Kate? They, they think I squealed. They think I told the police about the ravens. And you didn't? Of course not. How do you know that, sweetheart? Just because Case told you? Can you vouch for him? Yes, if you want me to. But then you must tell them to leave him alone. Well, I'm not your leader. Anything that happens is decided collectively. But they think I squealed. You can tell them I didn't. What are you doing here? What are you doing here? I'm on guard duty. What has happened to all of you? Eric. Were you there today when that happened to my cats? Yes. Could you, Eric? How could you, how could you let something like that happen? How could you do something? will. But there's something you should understand. I'm not like my father. Stay away from him, Theodora. Let's 
good advice. And leave my father alone. I won't tell them I saw you. not used to the equipment. Got cramped, eh? Death by misadventure. It's a possibility. It's a possibility. Fuck em. found his clothes. Then we looked over in the lab, then brought back here. Do you want me to phone your husband? No, no. He had to leave. He's tied up. What am I supposed to do with all this? Leave it like this? Make a museum of it? The Case von Sonneveld Museum. <laughs> I never could stand that thing. Do you know where this came from? Maybe Indonesia. No, I mean, have you ever seen it before? No. This necklace was stolen from an antique dealer in Amsterdam. Recently? Yes. One of those burglars. Our boys are supposed to have committed. Very probably.
There's nothing wrong with the Aqualung. I could have told you that. Sold them ever since they came on the market. And Case Van Sonnevelt was a good swimmer? Better than that. He was very good. Hey, Doctor! Could he have had the cramp or tore the mask off in panic? No sign of that. As far as I can see, the boy was perfectly healthy. Why were his lungs full of sand? Seawater does strange things. Anyhow, we'll find it in the medical report tonight. They're just waiting for the results of some tests to come in. Right. Have you checked with the weatherman? Tide's normal. Water calm after midnight, sir. So he couldn't have drifted more than 25 meters? That's right, sir. So, no cramp? Nothing wrong with the aqualung? No abnormal weather conditions? Therefore, not an accident. Nice day. Yes, not bad. Clean air, sea breeze, sunshine. Make the most of it, eh? Nothing to say. My name, my address, my telephone number, that's all. Uh-huh. I see. Uh, if this monkey over here doesn't keep his hands off me, there's going to be trouble. Really? Especially rich brats with suede shoes. Come on. Because you want to make us admit something we didn't do. All we did was go swimming together. All right. So you all went swimming together. And what's wrong with that? Nothing, nothing, nothing at all. I mean, why didn't you tell me in the first place? Because I don't see why my private life is any of your business. I can go swimming whenever I want to. Tell me, why did you go so far? Just to go swimming. Because there's more privacy there. And because people can't understand why we feel like swimming at night. And of course they can't understand why you like to swim without a bathing suit. Exactly. You were all in the wrong. Does that 
that shock you? It's case then. With all these pretty, naked little girls. He undressed further on. Further on. So he didn't come near the rest of you until you were all in the water? He didn't come too close. Not too close. How close? Ten yards? Two yards? He must have come close. Why? Oh, fuck at least one. Oh, come off it. Does that shock you? I'm not shocked. You know anything about biology, Lena? What I learned at school. In the coroner's report, after the autopsy on case, it says traces of spermatozoa evident. Do you know what that means? That he had an ejaculation. And in order to have an ejaculation, as you so nicely put it, he must have had sexual intercourse. Not necessarily. What do you mean? Well, he could have done it by himself, alone, without a woman, I mean. Oh. He had a habit of this. Night, in the water, with an aqua lung. Maybe. No! But you know damn well. Which one of you was it? He wasn't me, and that's all I'm saying, bastard! Hey there. Calm down. lunch. Go to the canteen. Honey. There's no point. There's no point in what? Keeping it a secret. Not telling. No point at all. Who would believe? Who would believe? You know, I loved him. I love him. I love him.
do it. You know, I couldn't help it. I had to do it. Lady killer. You see that? What have they done to her? Look, she's crying. What have they done to you? What have they done to you? Tell us. 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 That the way the Gestapo treated people was nothing compared to I this. I certainly must Next, refer to your method of questioning the trial. Mr. Defense Attorney, before you say one more foolish word, I should like to inform you that the charge is homicide in the first degree, committed both collectively and individually. Come on, Harry, be sensible. I take them all in. That's that. Come back now. Could you release Eric? Eric Mira? Yes. Yes, this evening. I know exactly what I'm doing. No. No, we're not finished at all. I, I 
don't understand. What, what's going on? Father, did, did you have me released? What, what about the others? The others are still locked up. Safely behind bars. Why was I released? Because I think you're the only one of the whole lousy bunch who's mad enough to face the facts. <laughs> you think I'm going to squeal? I'm not talking about your friends or your girlfriends. You're as guilty as they are. And the judge will throw the book at you as hard as he will at them. Don't worry about that. Why are you protecting Yama Janssen? He's a corrupt, vicious pervert who's done nothing for any of you. And he'll betray you when the time comes. We weren't a gang. We were a commune, a, a cell, a, a family. But we had discipline. Yalma noticed that we would... Well, we'd steal a little something here and there, pull a few pranks, just, just for laughs, just for kicks. But what he did was to organise it. Organisation and rules, he said, give you far more of a kick and you don't get caught. I'm not a communist or a socialist. Those are just superficial concepts. My system goes deeper. All governments are corrupt. That is the basic premise. Is there a more grotesque joke than democracy? Or a more absurd delusion than communism? The only way to achieve personal freedom is to be free. We, we are society. The smaller the group, the more important the rules, the stricter the discipline. A secret society with a hard, solid core. One percent of the population has the leverage to change the entire society, so Lenin said. I say one in a thousand. Less. One in ten thousand, if the core is solid. Discipline. How can you hope to control others if you don't have complete control of yourself? Most people refuse to act in cold blood. Most people need an ideal, a religion. A myth. Only strong emotions have any value. And the strongest emotion is self-control. The self. I. We. The hard core. Shall I take you home? No, please stay for a while. Here. You're going to have to do without this for a long time. Thanks. Thank you, darling. And then the cats came into the picture. Yes. They really went in for the discipline. No one ever suspected them. Police wants to go to Cuba. Or Israel. A bed is a better weapon for a woman than a machine gun. 
To know all is to want all. To know all is to dare all. To take all. All. Betrayal is death. Betrayal is death. to bed. Three hours we lock you up again. I am ashamed, father. All that. Nonsense. Because of that nonsense, a boy was killed. I'm sorry, Ken. Off duty. 
Will you take me home? Don't go to that man. It's dangerous. Why do you want me to take you home? When will you be back in Bloomingdale? On a stage, young man. Janssen is expecting you. He asked me to wait for you and take you to him. They retire for the night. Feed the mothers and fathers, cater to their every whim, destroy the sons and deprave the daughters. A one man revolution. Do you have the slightest bit of evidence? Plenty. Isn't that for the judge to decide? And of course, you've got the best lawyers money. How did you get? The funny thing about playing poker is that you can never be really sure that someone won't turn the whole table over. That only happens if you play with the wrong kind of people. Like now. You're not the wrong kind. To the tips of your toes, you're a product of the system. Whether you like it or not. Strangely enough, I'm a product as well, but of a different system. A system that I created myself. Couffoisier? No, thank you. You see, your system forbids you to do what you personally would really love to do. What you yourself, in your core, That is, destroy me. The contrary. You have to defend me against yourself. With the aid of your pathetic legal fallacies. Isn't that right? How did you want to arrest me? You couldn't be naive enough to think that I'd submit to your powers of persuasion. Or your threats. Inspector van der Waal. Just for fun. Shall I show you what I would do if I were in your position? Condemning me is now your own heart's desire. The sheer force of pure destruction. Watch carefully. Come on, then. I learnt that in Burma. I'm going to break your ribs, all 24 of them, with this. Don't shoot again! I want him alive. 
I wanted to fuck you, that's all. Is it registered? You'd give a whore a license for a gun. Go home, now. And you? I'm gonna phone Borsma. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. All right. We're standing here. I told you to go. Take a vacation leave this morning. Well, what are you going to do? No problem. Justifiable self-defense. Now, go on. When will I see you again? When will I see you again? Bye. Can I do something for you?